As you can see, we've already ditched the YouTube wheel painting manual. Most of the tutorials I see on YouTube involve spray paint, and we're just not going to be doing that today. But we are going to be using some high-grade automotive urethane-based paint to spray these wheels on my turbocharged Mitsubishi Mirage Power Dune Buggy. So I'll take you through the step-by-step -step process that I like to use whenever I'm painting wheels. Step one is going to be to remove the wheels from the buggy and get everything cleaned and prepped. First thing, I'm hitting these with just a little bit of Dawn to do the major grease and grime. Then after that, I'm going to follow it up with some Super Clean to further degrease these wheels. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to the front wheels. I always like to clean the back side of the wheel first, so that way I'm not rinsing any grease and grime onto my painted surface. Again, using the Super Clean, it's fantastic for doing this type of degreasing. After washing the wheels, I let them dry out in the sun for a bit. Now is the time for some sanding and some more prep work. I like to use 120 grit when I'm going through the wheels. You can go down to a 220 if you've got some areas you'd like to smooth off. Now I'm not going to lie, this is the most tedious part of the process. But keep in mind that the more time you spend fixing any imperfections at this stage and cleaning up any rough spots is only going to pay dividends of the final product. This took me about an entire day to complete the project. I started about 9 o'clock in the morning and I finished about 9 p.m. at night. The reason why is I only had one day to complete this project. No matter what your time frames are, the key to the best end result is going to be patience and prep. Now if you've ever done any filming or editing, one of the most frustrating things is when you lose footage. Well, sometimes the camera will malfunction, or the footage will mysteriously disappear into thin air. Well, That's exactly what happened here, guys. Unfortunately, I lost the most critical footage in this entire sequence, me spraying the wheels. So what I have here is some footage of me spraying the valve cover. I took the same approach with the valve cover as I did with the wheels. I sanded it down and then I cleaned it off real well with some super clean to degrease it. This would normally be the time that you'd lay down a couple of coats of primer. I however am skipping the primer and going right to a base metallic silver from Custom Paints. And I'm using a 2 to 1 reduction with the medium reducer. Now I ended up just laying down two thin coats of the base silver. But keep in mind, whatever you put down as your base coat is going to be nearly as important as what you're using as your top coat to the final product. Now I get to the fun part, where I get to lay down this candy orange top coat. Were you guys expecting any other color? Now for both the valve cover and for the wheels, I chose to use about three coats of the Top Coat Candy Orange. Hey, look what I found. The footage of my final Top Coat being sprayed. We're finally on the last step. What I'm using is Custom Paint's 2K Show Clear and Activator. Now what I like to use is about three to four coats of the clear. Now you can use more or less depending on your application, but this is what works for me. I like to allow just enough time in between each coat of clear to where it's no longer tacky. 
Now to wrap it up, I'm just using a little bit of black spray paint on the inside of the wheels so that orange pops. The last thing for me to do is add a little bit of tire sealant before they get aired up and reinstalled. Once you've got the wheels reinstalled, feel free to take it outside and give it the panoramic in the sun. The only thing left to do now is celebrate your victory as the world's best wheel painter. Celebrate with some libations. I'm Rick with Dirt Gear TV and I'll see you in the next one.